This is what we are going to learn in this video. Why do we need power GUI block? And when to use this power GUI block? So now let's check this out. So guys, here we have the block of the day. The block is power GUI. So first of all, we'll start with the name of this block. The name of this block itself suggests what and why it is used for. The name is power GUI. GUI means graphical user interface. So whenever you are dealing with simulation, whenever you are dealing with graphical user interface, at that time you require this block. Don't worry, we are going to explore when and where. And to explain you where exactly this power GUI block is used, let me explore this library. So in library, first we'll go to simcaps. In simcaps, we'll go to power system. In power system, we go to this specialized technology. And in specialized technology, we'll go to fundamental blocks. So just expand this fundamental blocks. So now here the where part comes. So in your simulation, whenever you are going to use parts from any of this section, then you must use this power GUI block. And that is why this power GUI block is located over here. That means in all of these sections, whenever you want to use any of the block, you must use power GUI block in your simulation. Blocks like different electrical sources, different electrical elements, interface element, machines, measurement units, power electronics devices. Whenever any of this device you are going to use in your simulation, you must use this power GUI block, right? Let me show you what happens when you use this block and when you do not use this block. So let us switch to my previous simulation, which I have explained in my previous video, three phase inverter. So here in this simulation, in this corner, I have used this power GUI block. So what I'll do, I'll run the simulation. Okay. It's done. And now let's see the result. Okay. So we have the results, right? That means simulation has worked. Now let me remove this power GUI block. Done. The power GUI block is not available in this simulation. And now let's run. Oh my God. There are varieties of errors occurs, right? So this happens when you do not use power GUI block in your simulation, right? So I think first thing is clear to all of you that where should we use this power GUI block? Whenever we require any of the component from this section of the Simulink library, then we must use power GUI block. And now the second things comes, but why we should use this power GUI block? So let us understand that thing. Here what you can see, we have different switches, source, load, scope and varieties of things included in this simulation. But now let us understand how exactly the MATLAB functions. The basic, the root of MATLAB is matrix. MATLAB stores each and every data in matrix format and that I have explained in detail in my first video of introduction to MATLAB. If you are interested in learning that, then this is the video. You can check out this thing later on. So the fundamental of this MATLAB is it's storing all the data in matrix format. But here we are doing everything in GUI format. It is graphical user interface. It's a resistor, right? It's a symbolic representation or ultimately it's a graphical user interface. But what is happening in backhand? In backhand, each and every component is made up through equations and you all are aware of this. So each of this block in this simulation is constructed using equations. So how MATLAB deals with this graphical user interface and these equations? There this graphical user interface block comes in picture. So what exactly this block does? This block actually stores the equivalent simulating circuit that we have prepared in this simulation and stores all the state space equation of that model. And when we run, it solves all the equation in backhand and then give the result to the scope. And then we can visualize those results. In other words, it simply stores equivalent circuit of prepared simulating model in equation form. Right. So make it clear in your mind that the role of this power GUI block is to store 
all this simulation in equation form does all the process and then give it a visual result to us so this is the role of this gui block in our simulation now let us open this gui block when you open it it has three varieties of solver right now it is continuous you can see it is not enabled right now i cannot make any change in this if you want to enable it what you are required to do go to simulation model configuration parameters and from here i have randomly selecting any of this right so once i have selected any of the solver now open it so now here you can see the simulation type is enabled there are three types continuous discrete and phaser if you select discrete then you need to give a specific sampling time right this is the time on the basis of what you are discretizing the signal and do the required process and in the third one phaser you are required to give the frequency we'll make it continuous because i want it to be continuous here we have varieties of tools if you want me to explain all of these things then write that thing in comment and i'll make a separate video for this because it requires a long time to explain all these things you can even make load flow settings over here right so that can be also managed from this section and now the last one is preferences so these are the different preferences for your simulation display circuit differential equation so these are the different settings and preferences that you can adjust it from here even to discuss and explain all these things requires a time right the main purpose of this video is to explain you why this power gui block is used and i think i have served the purpose in this video now it's your turn if you think that i have served the purpose properly then you can reward me by liking this video or subscribing to this channel or if you think you can do anything else for me please go ahead and do it i'll be more happy to have positive feedback from your side so until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye